Does that make sense? That, that didn't make any sense. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I expect today's video to be pretty short, pretty sweet. Um, I did want to try for you on camera. Now this is not a first impressions. I've worn this three times already, but I did want to share my thoughts on the the newest uh, Huda Beauty foundation. This is the, um, let's see, this is the Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I actually really like this foundation. I was surprised. Now I had never purchased the, the first one, the one that had the fragrance and, and so forth that probably pretty much everybody has heard of. I just, I never wanted that fragrance for myself. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Plus I knew it was a super full coverage foundation and that's not really my jam. This is also pretty full coverage and it is a, a luminous matte. Now I was, I was surprised by the finish of this foundation. I really was, I really like it. And, and it is a luminous matte. I don't know exactly how they accomplished that, but there you have it. Uh, I find that I do need to moisturize well when I use this. And so I have done that and I've got some sunscreen on and uh, you can see that I've got part of my makeup on. I've got my, my eyes partly done anyway, but I wanted to just jump on camera and do this foundation for you guys so that you can see how it looks. I have this shade Shortbread 200B, which is the same shade that I got in the stick foundation from Huda, which I don't like. I generally don't like stick foundations, so that wasn't too much of a surprise but it's the kind of thing that I can put in my purse and and like sort of spot conceal and and that kind of thing with so you know I I went ahead and kept it but it, it, as far as wearing it all over I don't don't care for that one but this I do like and um, I don't think there's anything I want to say beforehand hopefully you will just you will be able to see you know what I see and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into it and I will put this on for you and then I'll go finish my makeup and, and come back and give you some, some final thoughts on this. So I'm gonna scoot in just a little bit so that you guys can see what I'm I think every one of my foundation brushes is dirty pretty much, which, which means that I need to wash some brushes. But today I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rare Beauty one and I haven't used this one very much but uh, it's it's nice enough. I, I don't know that you need to, you know, run out and purchase it or anything like that. I'm gonna take two pumps, I think, on the back of my hand. That's, that's a lot. This is quite a thick foundation. You don't need to overdo it. I am going to put this on with a brush, but I'm also going to go over it with a sponge because that's typically how I like to wear uh, my foundations. So we're just gonna stipple this on, and I do like the color of this one quite a bit. So uh, I, was, I was happy about that because I didn't like color match or anything like that at Sephora when I went in for this. I knew that the shade of the stick one was pretty, pretty good. So I thought, I'm just gonna go with that, and if it's, you know, absolutely horrible, then I will, you know, exchange it if I like it or or not, if I, you know, I'll just return it if I don't like it at all, but I do like it. So I am going in with a stippling motion and I'm just pressing that into the skin. And I don't tend to like buff my foundation. I tend to sort of, oh, like I say, stipple. So sort of bounce up and down with a little bit of swiping depending on what I'm doing but that seems to work pretty well with this foundation. So that was about half of what I pumped out and uh, I still have um, enough, I think, to do the rest of my face. Let's find out. Like I say, I've only worn this a couple of times, but I was pretty impressed with the, the wear time and the way it looked on, on my skin. I'm not a big, like matte foundation person. I just, I tend to not like that kind of finish on myself. I tend to like 
things that are a little bit more satiny or um, I don't really like dewy stuff and I certainly don't like um, which one is it is it the it cosmetics one that's really um, like illuminating I can't remember if it's that one or one of the old Becca ones or anyway I I don't tend to like that kind of finish either so I was you know <laughs> glad that it wasn't that and I'm glad that it's not just like totally flat because I don't like that either. So there is like basically my first my first pass over my skin with this foundation. I I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they did the whole sort of luminous matte thing but they seem to have accomplished it so as with all full coverage type foundations I tend to be pretty sparing in the like the center of my face around my nose and my mouth because that's where I don't like most foundations that's where I don't like the way they look so I have a sponge and it's it's pretty dry actually I washed it the other day and so it's it's a little tiny bit damp but mostly it's dry and I'm just gonna bounce over this and I'm gonna focus this in the center of my face this is one of those foundations that like I say you have to you have to be sure and you know prep your skin well whatever that means for you for me it means lots of moisturizer and exfoliation and and that kind of thing because it can like all matte foundations it can kind of cling to dry places and stuff so I brought it kind of far up under my eyes here and I probably shouldn't have done that but I think I will go ahead and put just the tiniest bit of concealer on this is just the Giorgio Armani one that I typically use and I'm being very um, minimal with this because I don't want a lot of product under my eyes right now because you know it's winter it's kind of dry um, the heat's on all the time and and so I try to keep that at a minimum in order to keep my under eyes from looking too oh crepey and 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 just dry in general but uh, hopefully you guys can see the finish of this and it doesn't like cover up every single little thing. I mean, I can still see little things peeking out and, and stuff, but generally I quite like the amount of coverage that this gives me. And I don't usually go for a super like full coverage type of foundation. I just, I'm just not that into it. For this, it's, it does feel a little a little bit tacky but not too bad I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of um, contour and that kind of thing and I'm gonna use some cream products and then if I feel like I need to which the first time I think I did powder this and then the second time I didn't except for just like right around my nose and my like my pore area this is not a foundation that I personally like to do a lot of powdering with just because it, it can look a little bit, you know, a little bit heavy and, and so on. And that's all right if you're doing pictures for Instagram or something like that. Nobody's going to really pick up on that. But like in real life, it's not really, you know, it's not really that good of a look. Pictures in real life are a little bit different. And I try to do as much sort of real life makeup, at least you know most of the time what I actually will go out there and wear. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that and go around the perimeter of my face just to bring in a little bit of color around around there. So I'm gonna go ahead and powder a little bit under my eyes. So I'm gonna go into a cream blush. This happens to be the one from Morphe 2. And I'm going to add a little bit of blush to my look here. So I'm going to take the tiniest, tiniest bit of powder and I'm just going to go over my nose 
in my like my pore area just a little bit all right I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and I will come back and give you a few final thoughts on this foundation I will list everything that I use down below of course as always most of this stuff is uh, you know stuff that I've used a zillion times before or had in my collection so nothing is new on my face uh, I did use the Venus XL um, let's see yeah the Venus XL palette for my eyes today and mostly I just got this out because I hadn't used it for a while I knew that I liked it because when I first got it I wore it a lot but I hadn't done like kind of a pinkish reddish cranberry type of look for a hot minute so I wanted to do one today just for just for fun I'm not even going anywhere today but um, I've got like a million things to do down in my studio and I wanted to get some filming done and so you know I just pulled out something that I knew I would like and and hadn't used for a while so let me go ahead and finish my makeup and I will be right back hi guys I am back and I've got the rest of my makeup on as I mentioned I will list everything down below um, it's all kind of the same stuff that I've been wearing one thing that I did get out um, and open a new tube of that I there there are basically two mascaras that I like the one that's usually in my description box which is the Thrive Cosmetics one and then this one from Maybelline the Snapscara and I you know I'm very I've got a whole friggin collection of mascaras over there but those are the two that I go to all the time because they don't end up smudging down below and, and flaking off in a obnoxious way and that kind of stuff so just a just a little side note a little tiny mini review of, of that mascara but I got one of those out today and and I thought uh, yeah I remember now why I like this mascara so much and especially if you can get it on sale but anyway the foundation I really like this foundation my experience so far with how it wears and so forth is really good and it does tend to on me it does tend to start um breaking up a little bit i guess around certain places of my face that are like the go-to places where if a foundation is gonna you know fail that's where it that's where it fails so right here around my mouth and sometimes around my like my nose and the like the folds around my nostrils and stuff that being said this is not one of my favorite foundations on my nose it can look a little polka dotty and uh, if you have bigger pores on your nose like I do then you know exactly what I'm talking about if I were going out for like a special occasion or something like that or hell even just going out without having to wear a mask in public that would be super nice maybe we'll get there someday but I would probably just put a different foundation on my nose that sounds like really high maintenance and it kind of is but I do have foundations that I like the way they sit on my nose and this is not my favorite it's not horrible but it's not my favorite and it requires a pretty light hand and so you know for that reason I I discount this a, a star I guess <laughs> if I were to to rate this so like on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm gonna give this a nice solid 8 I think um, it's not like perfect it's not holy grail status but um, I do really like it I think I will continue to wear it especially on days when I want a little bit more of a fuller coverage um, like I say as maybe a special occasion like out at night or something um, where I really want my skin to look super nice super like covered you know like I say this is not this doesn't cover every single little thing but it does a pretty pretty nice job of of covering what I want foundations to cover and is a little bit heavier of a coverage than I typically go for it does not settle too bad like into my forehead lines my which are pretty bad right now because I haven't done my Botox in months and months and so it's pretty much all worn off and so almost everything will want to sort of settle in those lines so if you have expression lines that you 
that you know tend to crease or collect foundation, then just, just be aware of that. And, uh, you know, maybe powder a little more, go with a little lighter hand, something like that. But overall, I really like this foundation. I think it, it wears nicely. It is a illuminating, luminous matte foundation, however they managed to do that. I did spray this, by the way, because I almost always spray my foundations, regardless of, you know, what kind they are. Uh, and I used, let's see, I used the, the Collab one, which is the one I usually use, that or the Urban Decay All Nighter, um, just because that's usually what's at hand for me. But I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. I am not going to come back for a check-in or anything because, like I say, I personally have worn this a few times now. This will, I think, make the fourth day that I have worn it. But I think I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. And uh, do, you know, if you decide to check this foundation out and everything, let me know what you think about it down below. Or if you get a sample and, and decide against it, I'd be really interested to know why you do or don't like this particular foundation. So thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your time here. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until my next video, bye guys.